Good morning everyone. This is Sojinia working as assistant professor in CSC department at URIT. In this lecture we are going to learn about the next topic in the virtualization that is implementation levels of virtualization. Where we can implement the virtualization that we need to know in this lecture. Here levels of virtualization. The main function of the software layer for the virtualization is to visualize the physical hardware of a host machine into virtual resources to be used by the virtual machines. The virtualization software creates the abstraction of virtual machines by interposing a virtualization layer at various levels of computer system. Common virtualization layers include the instruction set architecture, hardware level architecture, operating system level, library support level and the application level as shown in the figure. The figure is here. Levels of virtualization. Here we are having the different types of virtualization levels. Application level, library level virtualization, operating system level virtualization, hardware abstraction layer virtualization, instruction, instructions at architecture level. Here different levels will be there for the virtualization to implement. Then we will see one by one. Instructions at architecture level. It is a virtualization, in this virtualization is performed by emulating a given ISA by the uh, host machine. With this approach, it is possible to run large amount of legacy binary code written for various, various processes on any given new hardware host machine. The basic emulation method is through the code interpretation, an interpreter program interprets the source instructions to target uh, instructions one by one. This process is relatively slow because a single source instruction may require tens or hundreds of native target instruction to perform its function. So dynamic binary translation is used to translate basic blocks of dynamic source instructions to target the instructions. Next one is the hardware abstraction level. This level, in this level, virtualization is to virtualize the computer's resources such as its processors, memory, and as well as the IO device, so that multiple users can utilize the hardware concurrently. For example, the Zen hypervisor has been applied to virtualize x86 based machines to run Linux or other guest application, OS applications. Next one is the operating system level. This level refers to an abstraction layer between the tra traditional operating system as well as the user application. OS level virtualization creates isolated containers on a single physical server. This OS level virtualization is commonly used in creating virtual hosting environments to allocate hardware resources among a large number of users. Sometimes it is also used to consolidate server hardware by moving services on separate hosts into containers or virtual machines on one server. Next one is the library support level. Most applications use the APIs exported by the user level libraries. Virtualization with library interfaces is possible by controlling the communication link between the applications and the rest of the system through API hooks. The software tool Vine has implemented this approach to support the Windows applications on the top of the Unix host. Another example is the VCUDA, VCUDA. It is a compute unified device architecture which allows applications executing within the virtual machine to leverage GPU hardware accelerations. Next it is the application or else we may also call as process level uh, uh, virtualization. In this virtualization at the application level virtualizes, well, virtualizes the, an application as a virtual machine. This is also known as process level virtualization because on a traditional OS an application often runs as a process. The most popular approach is to deploy high level language virtual machines like Microsoft, .NET, CLR and Java virtual machines. In this scenario, the virtualization layer sits as an application program on the top of the operating system and the 
layer exports an abstraction of a virtual machine that can run programs written and compile to it. Any program written in the HLL and compiled for this virtual machine will be able to run on it. Other forms of application level virtualizations are, on, are known as application isolation, sandboxing or streaming. The process involves wrapping the application in a layer that is isolated from the host operating system and other applications. Next is the relative matrix of different approaches. How this all the levels of uh, uh, virtualization uh, implementation will be the what are the re re merits of those ones relative merits of implementing virtualization at various levels the column heading correspond to the four technical merits those are high performance application flexibility implementation complexity and application isolation right so this all will be we employs the cost to implement the particular virtualization level Application isolation refers to the effort required to isolate resources committed to different virtual machines. Each row corresponds to a particular level of virtualization. Here level of virtualization, ISA, hardware level virtualization, OS level virtualization, runtime library support, user application level. The number of X in the table cells reflects the advantage of each implementation level. 5X implies the best case and 1X implies the worst case. Overall hardware and operating system support will yield the, yield the highest performance. See here, ISA, high performance, uh, whenever that, if you are taking the ISA, the performance is low, but the application flexibility is high. Then compared to hard level, uh, come to the hard, hardware level virtualization, high performance is there for the OSI as well as the hardware. Whereas, uh, uh, implementation complexity also high in the hardware virtualization and also the application isolation is also good in the hardware level virtualization. I think hope everyone will understood that uh, implementation levels of virtualization in, th in this uh, unit too. Thank you.